Hi everyone! With this video we begin a series of tutorials concerning Star Conflict, a game that is capable of bringing together fans of the old Wing Commander, TIE Fighter and the good old Elite. This game is fast, good looking, almost bug free and easy to play. Well, maybe it's a little hard to master. So this is why we bring you these videos, to demonstrate how fast you can learn to win and improve your skills. The first impression of the game for many people is something like this. Hey, this is like War Thunder but in space. This statement is true but only to a degree. Both games share the same publisher, similar looking hangars, premium currencies and login screens. The developers are different however. Star Conflict is being developed by Stargem, not Gaijin. Some of you might remember the studio by a different name, Targem, the very same developers of Ex Machina, a game where you can build and customize your vehicle in any way you want. Star Conflict follows the same general idea but in a gravity-free environment, so here you can enter online battles in whatever ship you build yourself. The more you play, the more ships of ever-increasing complexity you can construct. Game's modular system allows for quick and flexible modification of your ship to any playstyle to better prepare it for any kind of battle. Well, let's give it a shot, shall we? You can download the game client at our website, link in the description below, or install the game through Steam. Ok, we are ready. All you need is enter your email address to register. Alternatively, you can use one of your social network accounts or even an existing War Thunder account to log into the game. That's it. Now, you will need to select a starting ship and a faction that you start the game with. You can choose between Jericho, Empire and Federation. The Federation fleet is akin to expensive yachts with guns. They're comfortable, fast, maneuverable, but not too tough. Hit and run is the tactic favored by the Federation. Should they suffer damage, they can quickly fall back, repair and return to combat. The ships of the Empire can survive hundreds of hits and dish out even more in return. Extreme Armored is its byword, but they had to sacrifice speed in order to stay so tough. Finally, we have Jericho, with ships protected by the best shields in the galaxy. These vessels can absorb a lot of damage and regenerate their shields quick, but should your shield fail, there will be nothing left to repair. The ships of Jericho are the happy medium in terms of speed, sitting in between the juggernaut-like Empire and Superfast Federation. When you select your first faction, we recommend you go for the game style you enjoy the most, be it fast-paced combat using Federation ships or the slow and measured approach to warfare championed by the Empire. Nevertheless, this choice is not final and you can co-develop two or even all three factions at the same time. Now, don't get lost in almost 200 ships of the game. All this huge selection is divided into three main types of ships – interceptors, fighters and frigates. Fighter will be your first available ship class and is considered the most balanced of all. Reasonably armored, fast enough and armed with four guns suitable for close range dogfighting and for destruction at range. Though each fighter will have a different playstyle depending on the faction it belongs to. If the Empire's fighter looks more like a smaller frigate, a fighter of Federation is more akin to a heavy interceptor. Interceptor is quick, mobile and maneuverable, a perfect choice for beacon capture, reconnaissance and daring flank attacks. An Interceptor is armed with two guns and is least protected of all classes, if you manage to hit one in combat of course. Because Interceptors are that quick. A Federation Interceptor can travel up to 700 meters per second and can do a 180 degree turn in about a second. Finally, there are frigates, the slow and the purposeful. Armed with anywhere between 4 to 6 powerful long-range guns, these war machines are not designed to evade hits, but really they don't have to. The colossal toughness of a frigate allows it to survive serious punishment and live to tell about it. The toughest frigates out there hail from the Empire, but all that is for later. Right now all we have is a lone fighter. Where can we take it? The first order of business here is a little tutorial that will help you get to know the game's controls. When you finish your tutorial, you will be awarded some free premium currency. So, our training is now over. You will start all your future sorties with two battle button. The easiest choice to start with is PvP or player versus player. You will become a part of small team sent on a mission to fight against a similar enemy team. You will have to either capture beacons, similar to capture points in War Thunder's Ground Warfare, or you will fight a battle of attrition until one of the teams runs out of respawn points. In time, you will unlock four more game modes that are available only to experienced pilots. These modes will be reviewed in detail later. 
Your second option is PvE, Player vs. Environment, a small scenario that pilots must tackle in co-op. Experienced pilots recommend these missions highly as they provide a stable source of income and research for ship modules, which will increase your chances in PvP battles and make you a benefit for your team. Seriously, nobody wants to be someone's easy frag while researching modules, right? Up next, there is another PvE type, a raid against a huge alien ship. This mission is carried out by a team of 12 players running best ships and tight gameplay. This is one of the most difficult and entertaining challenges for high-level players. Finally, there is an exciting trip to open space. Here you can do missions, destroy alien ships, discover star systems, collect resources and even attack other players. If you want, you can even become a space pirate. Just remember that you will need to get a good ship to be a hunter, not prey. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, let's pick PvP and go to battle. Many things here will look familiar, a mini-map showing positions of friends and foes, a health and shield bars, a sight and a lead marker. Oh, by the way, your guns traverse faster than you can turn the hull of your ship, so you can shoot not only forwards, but also track your target as you perform a maneuver. Left mouse button fires main weapons, while right mouse button fires missiles. If you win, you will recover some trophies from that battle. Most of the time it will be scrap that you can sell outright, or whole modules that you will be able to install into your ship. This concludes our brief introduction to Star Conflict. In the following videos, we will explain various aspects of the game. We will talk about anything from piloting and shooting, to maneuvering and dodging, to prioritizing targets, ship characteristics and tactics of war. In time, we will also cover Dreadnought combat, corporations and control of the galactic map. See you in space!